A Brief History of Hyde Park Barracks In 1788, Sir Joseph Banks arrived at Botany Bay with the first fleet. He declared the land suitable for a penal colony and this meant that convicts could be sent here from Britain to serve out their punishment. Banks and the first fleet moved further inland and arrived at Sydney Cove on January 26, 1788. Between 1814 and 1820, a further 11,765 convicts arrived. The majority of them were men and they made up a huge proportion of the colony. As the number of convicts grew, so did the number of crime on the streets. This was a big problem for Lachlan Macquarie, who was the governor of the colony at the time. Macquarie commissioned that a barracks was to be built at Hyde Park to house the convicts. The building was designed by Francis Greenway and was completed in 1819. Placing the convicts in the barracks meant that the government could watch over them and teach them how to be good members of society. The barracks were designed to house up to 600 convicts, but at one time, up to 1,400 convicts could be found there. In 1830, a courthouse was established at the barracks to deal with secondary offences committed by the convicts. Over the years, the colony needed more female immigrants to balance out the population. In 1848, the barracks stopped housing male convicts and became a female asylum. It remained a female asylum up to 1887, when it became used for government offices. New South Wales government departments remained there until 1975. High Park Barracks serves as an important window into Australia's past. Its construction was also significant because it established the colony of New South Wales as a permanent settlement. Today the building is listed on Australia's National Heritage List and is now a museum looked after by the Historic Houses Trust. So now you know a little more about Hyde Park Barracks. Yay!